To save the Cronulla Fishery Centre, we need state members of parliament to care about protecting our fish stocks so they are there for future generations. They need to show they care about good governance and about evidence-based policy and decision making and to rise up and see that this decision is reversed. The decision was made with no consultation with fishing stakeholders or the staff. The local Liberal Party members were not advised and no proposal was taken to Cabinet. There is no business case, costings, cost-benefit analysis or strategic plan for the decision, even now some six months later. The staff collected 20,000 signatures on a petition seeking to overturn the decision within a matter of weeks. The local council is running an active campaign to reverse the decision. Wild fish stocks are collapsing all around the world. In New South Wales, they are under real pressure too, but we have among the best managed fisheries in the world. If we don't manage them well, they will collapse. The heart of wild fisheries management in New South Wales is the world-renowned Cronulla Fisheries Research Centre of Excellence. Without the expertise and hundreds of years of experience resident at the Cronulla Centre, combined with its state-of-the-art facilities and unique aquaria accessing pristine seawater, New South Wales wild fish stocks will be severely threatened. The photos in this video demonstrate clearly that the Minister has been badly advised. The facilities at Cronulla are state of the art and they cannot be replicated at Port Stephens or any other location without huge expense. Port Stephens in particular is built on reclaimed swamp land, is flood prone and the water quality and its makeup are completely unsuitable for wild fisheries research work that no amount of money can fix. The very idea of dispersing the functions performed at Cronulla to all parts of the state is in itself a serious flaw in this decision. It will fracture the working whole of wild fisheries management into silos of research, commercial fishing management and recreational fishing management with each of those functions fractured further into small ineffectual parts that will put wild fish stocks at huge risk over the medium to long term. The argument that the decision will put the staff closer to the stakeholders is simplistic at best and another demonstration of the very poor advice being received by the Minister. 80% of recreational fishers live in the Sydney Basin. There are more commercial fishers operating between Newcastle and Wollongong than any other coastal region of the state. With wild fisheries management and research located at Cronulla, 30 minutes from the Sydney airport, the centre is easily accessible from all parts of the state and researchers and managers have easy access to all parts of the state. Placing the commercial management function on the far north coast disadvantages stakeholders in other parts of the state, both in reality and perception. It is a similar story with placing the recreational management functions in Nara. Notwithstanding all of these problems, the vast majority of staff cannot relocate not because they hate the country, but because they have partners with their own careers, children in schools and universities with established social networks, extended families including elderly parents who need care and support, family members with special needs, and their own social and community based networks that they have built up over many years. What really irks many staff is that they are being forced to give up a career after many years of passionate and dedicated service for a decision that will deliver no benefit to the state, will seriously undermine wild fisheries management for years to come and will cost millions of dollars. We have no problem with the government policy of the decade of decentralisation and can see that in principle it has many positive features. What we strongly believe though is that the decision to close Cronulla Fisheries is an extremely poor implementation of the policy that will not deliver any substantial benefit and that it has the potential to severely damage the credibility of the policy itself, the Minister and the Government. Please save the Cronulla Fisheries Centre before it is too late.